One of the questions I get most often from my students as well as you guys here on YouTube is how do I choose colors for my UI UX design projects? So in this video, I'm going to show you a few websites that can help you do just that in just a few clicks. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we jump into today's video, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, prior access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. Now as I said, color is one of the key components of every UI design project and some designers find it really difficult to select good colors for their project. So in this video, I'm going to show you just a few ways that can help you do just that. So here we have a first website called paleton.com. It's one of the oldest websites out there and basically how this works and in majority of these websites, it works exactly the same. So you have this color wheel and you can enter your starting color and then it can generate the color palette with corresponding color to that starting color that you've chosen. So what we have right here, and I'm going to leave the links in the description below to all of these websites, which I mentioned, so you can easily access them later. You can have your palette looking like this. So if I switch to colors, here we are in there. If I switch to presets, we already have some presets uh, selected for the colors which are chosen. So for example, if I go with something like this on, you can enter your uh, color RGB right here. So presets for this color are this and let's say I want this sunny I can click on it and then I have tables and export if I click there you can export it as HTML CSS less SAS HTML as text and if you want to use it in design you can simply export as text and then simply copy and paste hex codes from these colors into your design what you have right here is RGB and this right here on the top is your hex code so just make sure to copy the hex code paste it into Adobe XD Figma sketch whatever you're using and then you can simply move on and use it with that color if you don't like it you can go back to colors and then you can adjust colors right here so you can um, click on all of these settings. So let's say I want to move these and you can hold shift as you can see right here to move shades individually. So let's say I want to move this one. I want to move this one all the way to here and you can see it updating in real time right here. So if you click right here, for example, maybe I want to select this and then from all of these, which I selected, maybe I want to move this slider to purple. It's going to keep all of the settings which I previously uh, changed for my blue color, but now for the purple. So it's going to give you the same values and you can see palette is right there. And if I switch to palettes one more time, you can see it goes from really light color to all the way to dark and grayscale and all of these colors. Uh, you can see it's monochromatic. So one color, you can add complementary color. So you can see how that looks like. So this is your secondary color. Let's say that this purple is your main color and this um, yellow yellow uh, golden color for example is for your buttons for your links and stuff like that so you can add that complementary color but if I jump back to here what you can see this is my complementary color so I can switch it and I can change these around or I can hold shift and adjust it a bit more I can move it outside and then I can jump inside once again and adjust all of these shades of my primary color and if I click on my secondary, I can also adjust it there. If you hover, you can see your hex code there. You can copy it and paste it. And once we go to tables and export now, what you can see is we have your complementary color. So this is your primary. This is your complementary for your buttons, links and stuff like that, as I said. So you can see it's quite simple to generate your color palettes right here. And then simply copy and paste hex code into your software choice and then simply move on. Next up, we have color palettes for designers. This is colorhunt.co. Once again, links are going to be down in the description below. What you can see is popular. So popular of the month, year and all time. These are generated by the users and you can upvote it here if you really like it. We have random. So it gives you just random color colors. And finally, we have collections. So these are just your collections. And you can see you can add this to your Chrome if you're a Google Chrome user. And then you can simply access it like that. What we have right here is if I switch to popular, for example, 
We have pastel, neon, gold, vintage, retro, light, dark. Let's go with dark because it's quite popular. And you can see majority of these color palettes uh, you are going to see on dribble, for example, especially with these dark purples and stuff like that because they are trending at the moment. So you can always go back to here. You can switch to new, for example, and then go into dark and it's going to give you all of these dark color palettes. So if I click on one of them, it's going to give you all of these colors and values and you can download it as image and then you can sample inside of your software of choice, for example, XD, you can sample each and individual color and then uh, copy and paste it to your, uh, your XD document like that. Or you can simply come right here, click and it's going to copy this color, jump into XD, paste it, come back to here, click on this color, copy, paste and go from there. Uh, you can see there are many, many, many different options right here. For example, cream is going to give you all of these colors. So depending on what you're looking for, what your topic is about, what your project is about, in which niche it is. So for example, these colors might not work well for a bank, but they might work well for a feminine brand, for a beauty brand, for, um, I don't know, something like that. And it's going to work well for tech brands as well, because tech brands are moving more and more into pastel colors as of recently, especially with use of 3d objects and mockups so once again color hunt you can check it out links are in the description below next up we have colors and if i start the generator i can also explore trending palettes this is my generator so you can see it even has a name so you can use these names when you are sending to developers so what we have right here is you can remove this color you can view shades of this color so all of these shades like so and then i can come back to here i can save my color to favorites and then from favorites i can build my color palette like that i can drag it so i can reposition it for example i want it to be here and i can copy hex of this exact color and finally i can lock it so i can switch all of these other colors but this color is going to be locked in place so you can jump inside you can change it however you want and if i for example click on it i can click right here and i can expand this so picker and I can pick this color to be let's say somewhere in the middle gray something like that let's move it right here so let's drag it and let's say I want to come right here I can go to my hex code I can jump inside hit Control C jump inside this color and let's see I can select my color I can hit Control V to paste exactly the same color and then I can switch to picker and I can pick something a little bit different, something like this. Then I can go back to shades and I can select this shade, for example, it's going to apply this shade and you can see how this goes. You can go through all of your colors and now you have all of these options right here. So you can create palette from a photo. So you can upload a photo right here to generate a color palette, which is great. You can create a collage. You can undo a redo. You can color blindness so to see how these colors will work for somebody who is color blind which is fantastic you can adjust the palette so if i click right there you can change the hue saturation brightness and you can see what it does you can view it so control i and you can export it if i hit export you can copy url if you want to send this to your developers for example you can generate it as pdf you can send that to your uh, developers and clients image css once again amazing for developers ASE SVG code even that so that's even better for developers and embed if you want to embed this piece of color into your website or your client's website or something like that next up we have Adobe color wheel and this is one of the oldest uh, out there you can generate it by uh, these colors right here you can uh, generate analogous monochromatic triad complementary split complementary double split complementary square compound shades and custom so let's go with i don't know analogous for example i can click on this one and i can adjust rgb values for each of them and you can see how my hex code updates for this particular color in real time and let's adjust this one as well and you can of course move these around you can adjust them however you want and let's hold my shift key just to adjust it a little bit further and you can see visually right here how all of this works next we have accessibility tools so when i switch right here you can see how these colors work with somebody who has um, 
impaired vision for example so they don't see really well that's why this is amazing to just compare your color palettes and see how other people are going to see it so we got a pass we got a pass right here so we can go back to our color wheel and adjust all of our colors individually and finally what i want to show you is this this is called color peak and this is a chrome extension basically why this is great is you can pick colors from any website out there so let me give you an example you can install this chrome extension or you can enter a css color right here but if you install the chrome extension you can go to your website of choice let's say this one right click and then go color pick from page styles when you click right there it's going to generate all the colors the colors that it sees on this website so here we have rgb colors but i can click this uh, cog and i can change it to hex rgb or hsl depending of what my developers like to do and from here on out what you can do is for example i really like this blue i can copy it i can go back to let's say this website and i can click here picker i can go to my hex i can paste that hex color it's going to generate it and then from here i can build my color palette there so once again color pick amazing and it works on every website simply uh, get the chrome extension install it then when you are on your favorite website right click and then generate from page styles so there you go i hope you found some of these resources valuable and i hope you're going to use them in your day-to-day -day work because i truly believe they are fantastic especially this color pick uh, many times you're going to browse some websites you're going to find this amazing color and then you have to create a screenshot you have to upload that screenshot to some of these websites or to xd for example then sample that color from that color you have to go to color wheel for example and then generate and stuff like that but with color pick it's simpler it's going to generate you can copy and paste like you saw and then generate your color palette once again Thank you for watching. I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week right here on the channel about Adobe XD, design, passive income techniques and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.